we'll, we'll pick that up in okay. just a moment, well Joe. Eddie Howe has joined well done, us. Eddie. Well done, Eddie. Firstly, how happy are you with that point against Man City? Yeah, well, I think we're happy with the point. I think you always want to win every game, but uh, you have to respect the game and where we were in that game towards the end we were hanging on a little bit for the point but overall a, a, a great performance and how was that as a response in terms of the performance what what pleased you yeah i think that was the main thing for us we wanted to be ourselves and i think you could see very early in the game we committed it's very difficult to press them but we tried and i thought we had some really good success in both halves doing that um I think we played our way, which is the most important thing, and the players committed to it, and individually we were much better today. That was yeah. a, a much better performance, but it needs to be against this team. Yeah, you're really, really, really brave on the press, and we, we noticed in comms, like, even Gundogan early on when, when, when he was going at left-back position, Tonali was, he, he was going, you know, left, it left a little bit of gaps, and, you know, that's the, the sort of the trade-off you make, but it, it allowed you to get up, and the front three, Gordon, Murphy... And Barnes which were right on it. So the first 35 minutes, I thought was as, was as good as I've seen anyone against Manchester City in a, in a long time. I think, yeah, you're, you're 100% right. You, there's a trade-off. You, if you're going to play that way, there's there's always going to be spaces mm. sort of behind that press. But it, I think here, it's the only way to play. Yeah. Because we need the crowd, we need the energy, um, we need to disrupt good teams, and also we need to show our qualities with the ball. And I thought we had that as well today. So it wasn't just. You know, one-sided. I thought we gave them a problem in the wide areas in the first half. Got into a lot of good crossing positions. Probably didn't create enough from those crosses, but we were getting up the pitch, which is not always easy to do against Manchester City. Yeah. Switch of play as well was was working, yeah. weren't it, from one side to the other? Yeah. Other than the, the goal and, and his penalty, um, how impressed was you with Anthony Gordon? Yeah, I thought Gordy did really well today because it's a, a different position for him. He's he's got to play it in his way and. I think you can see there were some challenges for him, but there was also some brilliant moments. So his, his pressing, for example, gave us an ability to get to Edison, um, an ability to just to try and destabilise their control. That's all down to his abil athletic ability, but also his attitude. Uh, and on the ball, you can see really highlighted by his penalty, you know, how quick he is, how dynamic he can be. and. Um, I was really pleased with him today. War Flags put on an, an amazing display for him before the game as well. All the fans have been wondering what's going to happen with his contract situation as well, Eddie. Before the match, he said to us that it, it was close. Can, can you tell us any more on that? It's close. <laughs> until it's signed. Imminent, is it? Yeah, well, hopefully. I mean, until it's signed, it's not mm. signed. So um, we love Anthony. We want him to stay. We want him to be a part of what we're doing here. The War Flags display, again, speaks volumes for the supporters here. They're very intelligent. They know when a player needs a lift and some love. And, then, you know, that, that collective show of unity for him, I think, was really important. They did, they did one for Sandro Tonali when he came back as well. His first start today. What was your assessment of him in that midfield? Very good. I mean, it had to be. Our midfield was really tested today. As you say, Sandro was pressing in the wide areas. Tactically, I thought, with Bruno and Joey, he was really, really good. Um, his intelligence levels were really high because if you make one mistake in your positioning, you, you can get punished. And I think he came to the fore with the ball more maybe in the second half. Um, really good fitness levels until he suffered with cramp that goes to show there's still growth in his his physical development after so long out pep guardiola has been really complimentary ab about you and and how tough it is to play against newcastle since you've been at the club you had a, a, quite a long chat with him at the, the end of the game can i ask you what was said i think from from my perspective I, uh, pep's someone i really admire I admire how he plays the game how he sees the game for me he's an innovator he'll consistently take the game into new new ways and as a coach you've got to watch and understand his team and try and find solutions to those it's not easy but i think he's really good for the, the english game the british game having him here makes the league better our challenge is to get closer and closer or try and get closer and closer to teams like manchester city and um, they're the benchmark really and a big one this week now because you know how much the fans here <laughs> crave a trophy with with wimbledon heading up here now yeah i think that it's a uh, the psychology of football really this week because you go from Manchester City to Wimbledon and we have to make sure that the team turned up today with them, the mindset and the ability to attack the game needs to be there on Tuesday. It's a massive game for us. Joel said if we get through because it's Chelsea, it would be the end of the road. <laughs> <laughs> Dropped you in there. Wow. <laughs> Stitch you. Eddie, I thank you. Thank you. You grass. Thank you very much for coming <laughs> out you. to talk nice to, to us. Thank you.